Hello everybody, what's going on? It's me, Chris, and the Brick Hub. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Phantom set. This is at 750048. It's recommended ages are 7 to 12. It has 234 pieces and retails for $25. This set came out in 2013, I believe. It has two minifigures. Who I'll, I'll start by showing you them, and I'll actually show you the ship itself. All right, let's get into it. So the first figure we hear is Chopper, and it's actually an astromech droid. See that he's got a orange um, headpiece there, I guess, along with the shorter astromech piece for the body, and then two astromech legs there. Of course, you can tilt him like this, not that far, like that, and it looks like he's kind of walking around. That's how he would be moving around. Uh, of course, no third leg. Lego hasn't done a third leg for the astromech droids yet. Instead, there's the two by two round uh, piece under there. So the printing. Down there on the body piece too, as well as the orange headpiece. And I'll flip back here, and you can go ahead and see just the lines that go all the way around for the head. And that is the next movie figure we got here is Ezra Bridger. He's one of the main characters from Star Wars Rebels. You can see he's got his blaster pistol there, and you can also see that he's got the same uh, color, like that or that brownish orange. Same thing with Chopper's head there. Um, and he's also wearing a uh, brown vest there, because they're printing on the torso and legs. And I'll go ahead and show you the back printing there. It's just that symbol there. He does have a double-sided head. There's the other face there. He also comes with a mask, which I'll go ahead and put on in one second. Here you can see that right there. That's actually supposed to be a Stormtrooper mask, however... Um, Lego kind of skimped down on the detail. There were other colors in there, but it still looks cool. It's still the only set that the helmet comes in, which is cool. But yeah, I think that is all for Ezra. So here's the Phantom itself. This is a really cool uh, one-man starfighter here. So I'll go ahead and start with the cockpit here. You can pull this up like this, and uh, the stand down there is not included. There's also another piece in the back too. Um, it's just to help me hold it up while I show you guys this set. See, yeah, I put Ezra in there. You can see there's also a uh, control panel there. It's cool. That's pretty much it for the cockpit. Just just two studs for him to sit on. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So you're just going to push this down like that. Snap it in like most other Star Wars cockpits. These wings fold up and down. I'll go ahead and show you in a second or in a couple minutes how, these, how this uh, ship can fit into um, the Ghost set. So if you fold those up, you can stick that in there. You can stick uh, this into the ghost set. But um, for now, I'm, oh, I accidentally fired that. I'll go ahead and show you that in a second, actually. Um, there we go. Uh, so I think you guys all know, you guys probably all know how this works. So, you know, you just push down on that, and it fires like that. It does come with an extra one. Fortunately, there's no spot to put that in here. In anywhere on the ship. Now go ahead and turn it around. You can see uh, there are two engines back there. And I'll go ahead and lift this up for you. You can see if I pull this gray piece, flap up like that, you can see there's something in there. I'll go ahead and pull those out in one second. I'm actually going to stump them like that. You can see it's just a place to store the helmet and the blaster. So I'll stick those over here. And then this whole piece can come off like this, if I can get it off, there we go, and you can see that chopper is in there, so there is a little spot for chopper, which is cool, um, good, like that, um, and I believe that's about it, uh, I, I'll actually go ahead and show you how this fits into the ghost, right, so now here is the back of the ghost ship here, Unfortunately, it doesn't all fit on screen, but I just need to be able to show you how uh, the Phantom fits in there. So you're just gonna you're gonna have to close out the wings like I showed you before. You can go ahead and put it back here. It takes a second, but it's pretty easy. And then you're just gonna flap this piece down right here, and then it's in there pretty good. You can of course you know, just take this off and pull it out easily. But um, yeah, there you go. 
So, uh, in my next video, my next video will be a review of the ghost. But, um, other than that, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all later. Goodbye.